What's up guys, in this video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you what is the trailing stop and how to program it in Python. As far as I know, you cannot set a trailing stop with MetaTrader 5 and you cannot do that uh, with Python, like you cannot uh, call a function and set a trailing stop. So yeah, in order to create a trailing stop, we need first to understand what is a trailing stop. So for example, let's say that the current price of a market is <laughs> this one. So we open an operation here and we have the stop loss here. Well, it's a buy operation. We have the stop loss here and well, we don't have take profit. If the price goes up, like now is here, we are earning money, like we are winning. So the trailing stop is, for example, we could set the, the stop loss here now. So now if the price goes down, we don't lose anything. Also, the price could continue to go up and we could uh, have the price here, but our stop loss would be here. So what this means is that we are pulling the stop loss. So whenever the price goes uh, down, we uh, get some profit like now for example here the profit that we have is this one and imagine that we don't set an, an a trailing stop and the price goes way 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 down so for example here it will have reached this point we would have lost the the profit so with the trailing stop thing what you can do is that you can make sure that you gain some profit always like not always only when the price goes above a certain point that you that you establish so how do we program this like it's very easy so if you check my code that by the way is in github and you can check it for free if you check my code you can see here that i have these functions handle sell and handle buy these functions are the ones that keep track of the price and also uh, move the stop loss like those are the ones that compute the trailing stop. So if we go, for example, to handle buy, what I have here is that, hey, first I get the position, then I get the, well, this is the point for, for setting a stop loss and a take profit. And what I do is that I define a variable called goal, okay? So this goal is that, hey, whenever you reach this profit whenever you reach this price i want you to start moving the stop loss and moving it in a way that i get profit always so what i get what i do is that hey i want that the that the goal is the price plus the threshold that i established so for example here the threshold that i established is 20. like once uh, the price goes 20 points above uh, the open price in the in the operation then um, the trailing stop will start to to work like we will start to move the the stop loss so what i'm saying here is that if the price is bigger or equal than the goal i want you to take the stop loss and take the current price and uh, subtract the margin that i will establish so the margin is the difference between the current price and the stop loss like for example here there can be five points and I want that if the price okay now moves one point above there's always five points of difference between the stop loss and the and the price so that's the margin like here I think it's margin is 10 like yeah I have 10 points so the stop loss is going to be always 10 points uh, behind the price and the take profit it's also moving but if you want you can remove this and say that hey I don't want to establish any take profit or whatever I just want to make sure that if the price goes down when I open a buy and I had profit I want to take some profit as I said before here okay now it went up one point and we changed the stop loss and what I want to do is that if it doesn't go up anymore and it goes down when it reaches this price the operation closes and I get some gains and I get some profit. So yeah, that's basically it. It's very simple. And what you have to do is modifying the 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 position, the, the operation. And I taught you how to do that in the previous video. Also, one thing is that this is wrong. This should be ask. And yeah, this should be bit. Yeah, just to make things okay. 
so yeah, in the cell is uh, the same, but uh, you have to change the symbol. Now you have to take into account that you are you want that the price goes down, so you have to move the stop loss above your price. And that's it. That's why I, here I put a plus and here I put it a minus. So yeah, that's it for trailing stops. I hope you understood the concept behind and I hope you understood how to build it with Python. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next one. Don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price. Mm -hmm. Ay.